King Rinps Review. The Kingrun KPS2 is a confusing little 2D printer. It's small, inexpensive, and relatively easier to set up, making it an ideal choice for beginners. But it's also scattered into two units printer, and tabletop spool holder which causes an untidy jumble. You will find many pics of the KPS2 emitting the spool holder or the printer, or sometimes both, in an attempt to make it look like a portable machine which it is not unless you put it in a box. The printer uses a high quality print head made from titanium so it produces excellent results. It's easy to replace the nozzle if you want to change its size or color. The GPS is not for everyone, but at $169 it is a good choice if you're looking for a reliable second 3D printable. With the Kingrun KPEs, you get everything you'll ever want to start printing right out of the box. It includes everything you'll require for building and maintaining your 3D printers, plus one spare nozzle, an extra thermistor, and a small sample of plastic filament. You can get started by downloading the Quick Start Paper 3D Printing Kit from Thingiverse. It includes several samples for printing, as well as an installation file for Ultimaker Cura 4.9.1 and Kingrun Slicer. We also received three additional nozzles in different size ranges for testing purposes. These don't seem to be included in the standard kit. The kit power is available in both assembled and unassembled forms. The upper gantry attaches to the bottom plate with two screws. The Z-axis motor comes separately and needs to be mounted onto the lower plate before it can be connected to the rest of the robot. All the components come ready for installation. You don't need any tools to install them. The Kingrun KPS3 needs to be leveled manually because of its small dimensions. The knob placement is difficult to reach when using your fingers. Some users with larger hand sizes complain about this. You cannot easily alter the Z position of the print head by adjusting the Z axis knob. To do so requires stopping the print job and manually adjusting the Z axis knob, which is not easy to do during an ongoing print job. Because of this, we recommend leveling the CPS when the machine is warm. When printing at room temperature, the print head tends to expand, which makes it difficult to get the nozzles close enough to the surface of the print material. If you level before printing, you can avoid this problem. To ensure that the bed is perfectly flat, check each corner first. If one corner is too high or low, Adjust the other three until they're all level. The King Rinks has an extremely simple and intuitive filaments path, which makes it easy to load and remove materials. You don't need any programs to load or remove material, so you must handle everything by hand. To start off, cut your filament into pieces so they're shorter than the diameter of the nozzle. Then, put them inside the extrusion head. Press the lever and pull the filament through the nozzle a few times until it comes out to the other end. First, select the extruder icon. Then click the back arrow button. Finally, click the move icon and then click the extruder icon and then click in to move the filament. Keep clicking until the filament emerges from the nozzle. The XPS is an impressive 3D printing platform that combines high quality print performance with ease of use. Its compact design allows for easy transportation and storage. With a maximum build volume of 20 by 30 by 40 centimeters, the XPS can handle any size project. The direct drive features a large 3 to 1 ratio gearbox and a clone Titan extruder that provides exceptional material handling capabilities. A powerful stepper motor drives the X, Y and Z axes. The XPS comes equipped with a heated bed allowing users to print directly onto flexible supports such as PEEK and PLA. In addition, the XPS offers two optional accessories, a second extruder mounted on top of the main extruder and a dual nozzle newer printers don't include a built-in power supply. Instead, they use an external power supply connected by a cable. The length of the cable makes it difficult to store the power supply out of sight. So, you'd better not put it somewhere where people might trip over it. 
The power button is located on the front panel.